Hello. So, uh, as we all know, Fantasy Star has some pretty terrible um, controller setups. Um, you don't really have much access to the entirety of the sub palettes, um, at least not efficiently. But there are ways around it. Um, the one I use is through Steam Input, and I'm using a DualSense 5 controller. This also works with um, dual sh chalk or not sure, but yeah, um, the PlayStation 4 controller works uh, where you can change the touchpad to access the sub palette. The most important thing that you have to do first, though, is make sure that you are running Steam in admin mode. So right click, run as administrator. Okay, so from here, you want to go to Fantasy Star, right click. Go to properties, controller, and make sure that you are enabling Steam input. Okay. Now from there, you want to go to manage and controller layout. This window will pop up and you can make your, you can edit your own layouts, right? So uh, there's a thing called shift mode. Right. If you think about it, um, your left trigger um, shifts your palette. Right. But you can also um, make a separate shift mode. Uh, you know, what? I'll just go make uh, make my controller set up from default. So, so right here is the standard Fantasy Star layout. Right. So if we go to Edit Layout here, this is what all the buttons look like. D-pad and trackpad. So if we go here, oops, wrong one. Go here, create shift mode. Right. And then we go here and we change, we want to do, let's do left trigger full pull because that's what I use. Okay, so now when you hold down the left trigger and push any of the face buttons, X, circle, square, or triangle, you can have it hit something on a keyboard. Right. So for my button setup, if I do left trigger circle, it will hit two. I think that's the only one I use. Um, because uh, there's all the other buttons are kind of important. Because if you um, the game doesn't have anything bound to left tr left trigger circle, but it does have it bound to um, left trigger um, square and left trigger uh, triangle because that uh, affects your weapon palette. So we don't want to really mess with that. Okay. Now we have our D-pad. We go here. Oops, wrong one. Back. Directional pad. V8. Shift mode. And again, we will use the left trigger full pull. Back. Now, when you hold down left trigger and hit any of the D-pad buttons, you can have it um, hit things on your uh, keyboard. So usually what I like to do is left trigger up or left trigger up um, is four for me. The trigger down is five. Um, I don't, oh yeah. And then left trigger left is rest assign and left trigger right is um, reverse sign or you know one and zero. Okay, now this is where things get really fun. Right, you people don't know this, but you can actually have um, the touchpad hit thing hit things on your keyboard as well. So this is right trackpad touch, right, which I have set to seven, and left um, trackpad touch set to six. And the best part is you can also look at this create a shift mode. Right, so this is shift mode uh, touchpad. So let's get rid of this. 
actually no, you just don't touch that. Okay. Uh, click is when you push the but, uh, trackpad down. So right trackpad, uh, left trigger, right trackpad is going to be nine for me. Right. Then we go here, the eight shift mode, left trigger, full pull back. Left trigger this, I believe was eight. So let's see here, seven, six, seven, eight, nine. So now, um, all of my buttons are, you look at, uh, let's see here, trackpad one. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, um, I, I usually have my thumbstick because when you push down on the thumb, uh, thumbstick, that uh, basically pulls up uh, whatever you're clicking on on the thing. So I have my thumbstick uh, over over um, three mostly. So that's how I access three. So to hit two on the keyboard, I would do left trigger. I would hold left trigger and hit circle, right? Three, I would hit my left thumbstick, right? Um, one, four, and five, and zero on the keyboard. I would do left trigger and D-pad, right? And then for my other thing, for for this, I would do, um, I would tap my trackpad on the left or the right, or my other modifier would be left trigger, trackpad left or le trackpad right. Um, so I hope this helps. It'll give uh, you much more access to the entirety of your sub palette. Um, but be aware that um, if you change something, you have to make sure that um, you, you're, you make a mental note of it in case the uh, inputs get messed up or you go back to default and then start again, because it, there are times where you'll change up something. And if you try to move your T pad, um, it won't work. Like weapon palette, you could break your weapon palette swapping if you don't, you know, um, set the buttons correctly. All right, that's it. Hope this helps.